Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout to share for Bramble Fox. I am using the new Yummy collection, uh, which is great fun. It's really lovely. It's all about cooking and baking and home cooked and little chef and star bakers. It's just fabulous. Um, I happen to have a little five year old who's really into baking and cooking at the moment. Um, he attends cooking club um, at school um, and um, comes home absolutely made up about it every week. Um, so it's super cute. So this is a photo of him just got home from a cooking club and he's showing me his um, his amazing creation, which on this occasion happened to be um, a baked bean and cheese pastry slice, which is an interesting combination. So. <laughs> So anyway, um, it's really lovely to be able to um, scrapbook about this. Just to, it's just a little memory, it's a little thing um, that you know I don't have many photos of because um, it, it takes place at school. Um, so I don't have any photos of him really. Um, so I just made sure that I got a photo of him when he get, came home from school, sh showing me his creations. Um, and uh, that means that I can then scrapbook this little memory. Um, and um, yeah. It's, it's really cute and I just wanted to do it. So um, the Yummy collection is obviously completely perfect and I'm using the um, What's Cooking collection by Simple Stories, which was kind of a Thanksgiving-ish um, themed collection uh, from last year. Um, but um, uh, it's it's got a lot of kitchen stuff, cooking stuff in it. So it was all perfect. And it's not overly Thanksgiving. It's not full of pumpkins and turkeys and pies and stuff it is a bit but not not that much um so it's really quite generic for all kind of cooking stuff it's very good um okay so i have got my two photos which i have mounted um, and i'm starting with a white cardstock background and i am pulled i have before i started i had pulled out a few um pieces of ephemera and journaling cards and bits and pieces that i wanted to use so um quite often i start with the pattern papers but on this occasion i just there was some of the specific icons that i wanted to get in um, so I've got the fridge that says yummy on it. I've got a jam jar. I've got um, a little journaling card with sh uh, a shelf of salt, like almost salt and pepper shakers, maybe other their jars, I think. Um, and then there's um, these tags, which I particularly loved. Um, this one here says, um, love you to the fridge and back, which I thought was really super cute. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm tying through some red ribbon that is, you get those, I think they're free if you buy the entire Yummy collection. Um, and uh, so I got the ribbon, um, there's some little charms and one of them is a fork and a spoon. So I'm just tying that onto that ribbon. So I've done, the big ribbon goes through the tag and then I've tied around with some embroidery thread and I've tied on that little charm as well. So that's very cute. Um, and I'm gonna go for the home cooked title. Um, so that comes in a pack of two titles, home cooked and I think it's favorite eats. Um, and then I'm also using um, some of the wooden pieces. So I've got Master Chef and I've got a little chef's hat. Um, I've also got some little mittens and the knives and forks and a, a pot and pan type thing. Um, all from the elements um so yeah lots of uh, little bits and pieces going on to this layout um they're they're my favorite types of perspectives to be honest all the little bits and pieces so it's really lovely to have those and to have you know just fun with a the theme um i know for a long time scrapbooking uh, or themed scrapbooking products had a bad rep um we all were desperate for more generic um things um but i love a themed collection as long as i have the photos to go with it <laughs> of course um and on, on this occasion i do so i've got um a cooking based um paper collection cooking based photos and cooking based perspectives so i am very happy um so you can see that i've just moved forward slightly and i've got everything stuck down or most things stuck down i've gone for a vertical not vertical horizontal design going straight across the page um and as I say i've gone directly onto white cardstock background which is unusual for me these days normally i'd quite often start with white background but normally i fill the page with a large portion of pattern paper um, but I didn't on this occasion because I really wanted the embellishments to shine through um, so um, yeah I, and I always prefer perspectives um, against white um, rather than against pattern 
so that's a couple of reasons but I do add a little bit of color at some point I'm gonna go for just a strip at the top and the bottom um, you can see that I'm just getting the last bits of embellishment stuck down I've got all the big items in place like the main part of the layout but I've gone in there with a the cookbook um, I've got a um, cake on a board that's been sliced or a loaf cake on a on a on a tray um i've got um the knives and forks they're so cute um and just getting those stuck down now as well um and then over on the right i say i've got the master chef um hat wood veneer piece and the little mittens which are super cute um i've come up with a little embellishment cluster at the bottom of the tag which is just a cup of maybe hot chocolate um a milk bottle um the pan and then i'm adding some enamel dots they're not enamel dots they are decorative brads um and then i'm just going through the yummy the um what's cooking collection and working out what other bits and pieces i can bring in here um i quite often like to use word strips or phrase strips um so i pulled out the word recipes from the uh, chipboard um, I'm looking at the stickers to see if there's any um, phrase strips that I can use as well. Um, but I've put them to one side for a minute. I'm going to come back to that. Um, and now I, I've decided that I need some pattern paper. So I've gone for a strip at the top and a strip at the bottom. And I particularly wanted to use the red paper in the collection because I wanted it to match the home cooked title um, and the red gingham ribbon, which is beautiful. Um, so I wanted to bring that th those colours um, in um, as much as I could. Um, okay, you can see there that I've skipped forward slightly and I have really built up the um, the word, or the phrase strips um, under the home cooked title. So I've got recipes, which is a piece of chipboard. And then I've gone for the um, the word fatty set in the yummy collection. And I've pulled out gourmet eats and yummy and bon appetit ap uh, arrow. Um, they are all from that word fatty um, uh, pack or set. Um, and I've added a little sticker in there that says dinner is ready and also some flowers. Um, now I'm just adding a few sequins. I generally like to add sequins to most of my layouts. Um, and I had these super cute strawberry sequins um, from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So I've just sprinkled a few of those across, um, even though the cooking creation is a baked bean slice um, and not sweet like strawberries in the slightest. I just they were just awesome and they just went quite well so I, w I went for them um so there we go and just a few splatters of black paint and i've written my journaling along the top and that is it i am done um i hope you enjoyed seeing that come together i absolutely adored making it um i say i love a themed layout um and uh, just think this is super cute and, and it was so much fun to work with so um well done bramble fox you did it again <laughs> um thank you so much uh, for joining me today that was nikki Rowland for bramble fox